We have been trying to devise the best way to keep track of records and important information for centuries. Every day, people interact with countless pieces of data stored across a variety of media and data storage capabilities will keep on growing exponentially. Nowadays we are used to having hundreds of gigabytes of storage capacity in our computers. The introduction of new storage technologies should be accompanied by an evaluation of user requirements. Does blockchain have a solution to help anyone store data permanently? Do you think decentralized blockchain data storage options are available today? Can you imagine every piece of content can be captured with a timestamp and archived in the block weave? Let's discover all the answers together. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. Today we will investigate Arwa, the project which allows users and developers to truly store data forever, for the very first time. Arwa is a blockchain project that aims to enable sustainable on-chain data storage. This network is the basis for what its creators call the permaweb. It means a collection of interlinked documents and applications, just like the traditional web, except all contents are entirely permanent. In other words a permanent decentralized web that hosts several community-driven applications and platforms. Permaweb can also store decentralized apps. With full functionality, users can access the applications via Arweb gateways, a part of the platform's functionality that renders the outputs of the apps in users' web browsers. It like an application server. Thus, it provides a secure method of permanently storing data on-chain that is immune to accidental or deliberate data loss or tampering. Arweb does that by distributing stored information across a network of computers, called nodes or miners. Further, files stored on Arweb are accessible through traditional web browsers. So they don't require any special wallet or blockchain service. A great feature of Arweb is that you pay the storage fee only once and can store the data indefinitely. Let's learn how it works. Classic blockchains store chains of blocks that contain transactions. Arweb stores data in a graph of blocks. This way, each block is linked to two earlier blocks forming a structure called a blockweb. Normally, in a proof-of-work system like Bitcoin, computers should solve a mathematical puzzle for hashing. But the Arweb network uses a different method for this problem, called succinct proofs of random access. In this system each computer takes part in the network to check that a new bundle of transactions also contains a randomly selected marker from an earlier bundle. If that marker is present, then the new transactions can be linked to the network. The computer that adds a new bundle is given a reward in the form of Arkansas cryptocurrency. Our token. According to its yellow paper, Arweb has a maximum token supply of 66 million Arkansas. 55 million Arkansas was minted when the Blockwood's Genesis block was created in June 2018, and an additional 11 million will be gradually introduced as block rewards. To store data in the Blockwood, you must pay fees in Arkansas tokens. Arweb miners receive these tokens in exchange for mining new blocks, which obligates them to store data. The ecosystem of Arweb, Arkansas, is similarly remarkable, with over 300 decentralized apps dApps, operating on the Arweb blockchain. To sum up, Arweb is seeking to find a place for itself in a market dominated by storage giants like Google, Microsoft, all of which are operating in the multi-billion dollar cloud storage industry. Also they have rivals in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Depending on the lifetime of storage, the price for the Arkansas tokens can be cheaper than monthly fees for competitors such as Filecoin or AWS. In the future, the permaweb is likely to extend to all areas of life. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about the Arweb? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button 